Singapore, the fifth stop on the awesome BWF World Super Series. And this is where it's all taking place. The Singapore Indoor Stadium, a magnificent building it is too. Next month, of course, it will be hosting the World Netball Championships, but this week, it's all about badminton. It's quarterfinals day here at the Li Ning Singapore Open. And as I say, fifth tournament on the BWF World Super Series. 12 tournaments in all. And as you can see, we've already had four of them. Of course, the Korean Open made history, the first ever million dollar tournament and the first ever premier Super Series events. Of those 12 tournaments, five have been promoted to premier status. So it's very exciting times for badminton. Well, as for today's quarterfinals, we're starting with mixed doubles, then men's singles, women's singles, women's doubles. And, of course, men's doubles will be the last of those five quarterfinals. Well, the first of the matches, the mixed doubles, it's the English pair against the Thailand number two seeds. There's confirmation of that. Nathan Robertson and Jenny Warwick up against Sukip pra Prakamol and Sarali Thumtongkom, the number two seeds. Of course, the Thailand pair have had some very good results already this year. Beaten finalists at the All England Championships, number two in the world at the moment. And of course, they know what it's like to be in the final of this particular event because they've reached the final of the Singapore Open twice previously, back in 2005 and 2007. We shall start well, slightly pensive looking Jenny Warwick. This is new territory for her because she and Nathan Robertson played the Singapore Open last year. They lost in the very first round despite the fact that they were the number eight seeds. So considerably better than a year ago. So they will be led out onto court by Charlie Magad of Indonesia, the umpire for this first of our quarterfinals. As I say, five matches, and we really have got a great lineup for you this afternoon because following this mixed doubles, we have two youngsters in the world of badminton in the men's singles, a former world junior champion, Wang Zhengming, against the current world junior champion, Victor Axelson, who's battled his way through the qualifying event here. He's through to the quarterfinal. What a magnificent match yesterday when he beat the former champion, Bao Chun Lai. So uh, plenty to look forward to. Of course, this first match, the mixed doubles, well, this should be a tight encounter. They've only played each other once previously. And I can tell you, it went the full distance. But let's have a proper look at Nathan Robertson, first of all. 34 years of age, born in Nottingham in England. And, of course, he is a former world champion with his previous partner, Gail Ems. And of course, probably best known in badminton terms for his Olympic silver medal again with Gail Ems but since the retirement of Ems following the Beijing Olympics he's been teaming up with Jenny Warwick who's 24 years of age born in Bolton but now living in Nottingham training at the National Training Centre in Milton Keynes these two English players and as you can see world ranking of 15 13 individual tournaments to go with that world ranking and their win-loss record for the year equates to reaching just one final so far this year that was the Grand Prix gold event in Switzerland lost in the final there to Joachim Fischer Nielsen and Christina Peterson so Sukip Prakamol also very experienced man 31 years of age from Chong Bori in Thailand Number two in the world ranking is he and Sara Lisa Tonkamp. And she's just turned 32. In fact, her birthday celebrated at the beginning of this week, last Monday. And what a birthday present it would be if she could get through right the way through this tournament. And certainly got the talent, there's no question of that. Number two seeds, number two in the world. Two finals already this year. I was mentioning just a moment ago about their All England final when they lost out to Zhu Chen and Ma Jin of China. 
but the pair from Thailand also reached the final of the 2010 Super Series Finals. And no, I haven't gone completely mad because the 2010 Super Series Finals took place in January this year. So this is the man in charge, Jolid Magad of Indonesia. Very experienced umpire he is too. We've got umpires and service judges from all around the world. Richard T, he's the service judge. Now, as I was saying, these two pairs played each other once previously. That was in the quarterfinal of the French Open last year. And the Thailand pair won on that occasion. And in fact, they went on to take the title, the very first and only Super Series title. Of course, for the Thailand pair, twice bronze medalists at World Championships. This is the youngest player on court. Jenny Wingwood. Now, I can tell you that both of these pairings through to this quarterfinal stage without dropping a game. English combination beating Germans in their first round match, Schuttler and Maranello. And then yesterday against Fran Kuniawan and here Zebedee Bernadette. Again, two straight games. So for the Thailand pair, well, their first two matches have been against two British pairings. First, first round against Chris Adcock and Imogen Bankia. And then against Robert Blair and Gabby White. So for the Thailand combination, this is their eighth appearance here in Singapore. It's obviously a tournament they enjoy playing. Big supporters of this particular event. And only three seeded pairs left at this quarter-final stage in the mixed doubles. It's the Thailand pairs, the only seeded pair left in the bottom half of the draw. And I can remember watching Sukhet Prakamol and Sara Lee from Tonkan many years. This is their ninth year on tour together. Five career titles over that time. And I guess the result that really set them on their way to stardom was winning the Japan Open in 2005. Showed huge promise. But in all honesty, I wonder if they've really fulfilled the potential that I certainly believe they had. Of course, those two medals at World Championships, two bronze medals in 2005 and 2006, Anaheim and Madrid. Had their chances in that too. And of course, it was in Madrid that this man won the gold medal with Gail Ems. Beat English teammates Anthony Clark and Donna Kellogg in that World Championship final. And the English pair. Silver medalists at the European Championships. Sorry, that was the Commonwealth Games. They were silver medalists. They were bronze medalists at the European Championships last year. Still waiting for their first ever title together. English pairing. One, four, three, mixed doubles. Doubles player as well. And they're concentrating solely on the mixed doubles. So it looks like it's the Thailand pair who will be nearest to us. As we move down on the court. Short haircut, Sukhet Prakamal. Army Sergeant. Frank Sarah Lee is in the Air Force. One up. 
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Sarah Ali, Tung Tong Kam, and Suket Prakamol, Thailand. And on my left, JD Walk Walk, and Nathan Robertson, England. Nathan Robertson to serve, to Sarah Ali, Tung Tong Kam, Laval, play. So it's the English combination, unseeded Nathan Robertson and Jenny Woolworth. There they are, far side of the courts as we look down. Up against the number two seed, Sukhep Prakamol and Sara Lee from Tonkan. Save is over. One love. Two love. Ambitious player One, is Sukip pra Prakamol. He was expected the unexpected. It's an absolute delight to watch because he does try some outrageous shots at times. So well did Nathan Robertson. Crunching in the net. Oh. A flick serve from Woolworth. Three, three two. By Sukkit. Placement of the smash from Nathan Robertson. Service over. Three all. Oh. Ooh, that's a little wild. Service over. Four. Three. Oh, that's incredible. Not only the technical ability Five, three. to whip that shuttle across court, but also the vision to see that's where the gap was. Robertson left absolutely stranded. He wasn't left stranded on that occasion. He was quick back Four, to that five. flick serve. Oh. So, we'll turn third oh. shot. I know I say it every Six. time, Four. but it's so important in doubles. Good low serve. Got to get your racket up ready to intercept. It's just wide this time. Service over. Five, six. Oh, oh wow. this seems to be kind of warming some up still. Eight, yeah, she's a powerful player. Is Six, Jenny Warwick. Four. Not their favoured formation, it has to be said, with her smashing from the back of the court. But Nathan Robertson, very, very efficient from the front, putting the shuttle away well. So back level. Six all. And now into the lead. A run of three straight points. Seven, six.
course, Nathan Robertson has won a Singapore Open title before. It was men's doubles in 2009. And Clark. And that's a good smash. In towards the right hip of Sara Lee Zampanka. Six. Well, now it's a run of five straight points. Good little spell from the English combination. Oh, it's great defence. Goodness me. And the first six. one was more impressive than the second. Off her right hip and then driving with the forehand action for the outright winner. Oh. Hey, come on. Oh. Eleven six. Well, what an extraordinary run of points. Seven of them to be precise from four six down to eleven six at the mid-game interval. Just five minutes of play. Can you Jonasson? On the world number two men's singles player from Denmark now coaching in English. Oh, always looks almost disinterested, doesn't he? See get crap back at all. I can assure you he's not. It's just his Got persona, one, it's just the second. way he comes across. He's a delightful one, character. Oh, he's very friendly. England coaching bench. 11-6. Play. Over. Seven, eleven. That they're out of formation. English combination do little, look a little more vulnerable to me. Far better when Nathan's at the back of the court. Can the rise. Oh. 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 Service over. Twelve, seven. Clever play from yes. Sara Lee from Kung Camp. here in Singapore. Yes, oh, the air conditioning is on here at the come on, come on. Singapore Indoor Arena Stadium. Oh, oh. Ah. Nine so much mixed doubles is about working the rally until the woman at the front of the court can finish it off. Get the lift hitting the right place so that she can intercept. Out. Service over. 39. Oh. 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 Yes. 
very well played by the Thailand Thank pair. So Let's go through Sarah Lee. She played Thank a backhand you. across court in that rally. Here it is. That changed the momentum of the rally. Super play. Some tactic trying to play across court. Ten. Not making it. Hey. Yeah, down the centre. Fifteen ten. Both the Thailand players leaving it for the other. It's a good standard tactic anyway. Because should the shuttle come back, and there is the angle of reply, and therefore there's a good chance that the net player will be able to intercept. Oh. Yes, good rally. Good thinking. So it's good over. 15. It's over. 16-11. for Sarah Lee to control. Five point advantage restored. And short. Well. Save is over. 12-16. Save is over. 17-12. Tried the little half-court push. Suitkit didn't give enough pace on the shuttle. Couldn't get it past the outstretched arm. Will work. I'll be pretty happy with their player's performance so far. Little glimpses 17. The of the brilliance of the Thailand pair. He was the one that did the damage. That's a loose serve. Got what it deserved. 18 13. Got to try and make that low serve just skim over the net. Your opponents can't attack the shuttle. That's what they're all aiming to do. It's slightly loose, and of course your opponent can pounce on it. That's a good serve. Oh. Oh. What an angle. That is absolutely incredible. 13. Most players would have played straight down the line. But look at this. Goes up. Cross court. Not quite right, enough. Two points there from the other day. Now just the one. 20 game points. The combination. Looking very, very sharp at the moment. 
seven game point opportunities. Well, that's one squandered. Save is over. Mm, just 14, seemed to lose his 20. concentration there. Nathan Robertson doesn't miss many of those, I can assure you. Again, the English 15, pair out of their favoured formation. Good tactical play by the number two seeds. Oh. This time, he converts. Game. Third time of asking. First game won by Nathan Robertson, Danny Oldwell, 21-15. 21-15 calls the ump up. 15 minutes to play. Of course, the players change ends. Well, it was a good opening game. Moments of brilliance from both pairings. But I have to say, I thought the English combination in general just looked a little bit sharper than the number two seeds from Thailand. And all the players there have been telling me about the drift in this arena. And that may make a difference. This was a super rally. Badminton fans in this Got one, Singapore indoor stadium. Got one, 20 seconds. This is a magnificent arena. Opened on the 31st of December 1989. Well, I can remember playing in this very arena when I was competing at the Singapore Open. So the Thailand coach will never give some second game away. Love all, play. No coaches, well, they'll be pretty happy. They've obviously taught tactics. No. So they well in the open game. Ah! One love. So much of doubles is about the attacking play. Absolute perfection, the return of serve from Brackamolt. One more. The top of the tape just trickled over. saying in the open game about the serve, return and third shot. Absolutely vital. And then Jenny Woolworth taking the return off the top of the tape, playing the winner. Yeah, but 
have some more positive returns. Service over. Two, three. Over, Reducing the court four, area. Two. Just get it past the net player. Making the shovel land in front of the rear court player. Look how he has to move forward. Yeah. Pulled out of position late onto it. Okay, thank you. Five two. Oh. Hey. Shakes two. Well, it's all one way traffic at the moment. Ever since they were four six down. Again, the English combination have just gone up a gear, looking to attack and hit the shuttle in a downward direction as much as they possibly can. Oh, goodness, it's paying dividends. In. In. Well, the umpire's called it in. I have Seven, to say, I'm surprised two. by that. see from that angle but even Nathan Robertson raised his racket in apology for the call obviously realized it's not short of that front service line and I'm calling it good age two five straight points have not really been challenged with their attacking play. Not enough attempts by this pairing, the number two seeds, to try and turn that defensive play into attacking play. Save is over. 3-9. Here in the world to react to this fairly desperate situation from their perspective. Just wide. Take it over. Four nine. Five, nine. Took the shot a much earlier on that occasion. So kick. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this is a good little run of points Six, from the nine. two seeds. See it at the moment, there we can just retying the shoelace. Often seems to do this when her opponents are on a little run of points. Okay, on. Oh, 
Oh, it's certainly the right over. idea from Sidney. Just trying to turn the shuttle. Gently trying to steer it into the open space. Urgency Seven, in the style of ten. play now from Sukit Prapakamal. Oh. Oh. No. Defence is wide. Save is over. And therefore, the there go to the mid game Seven. interval. Interval. With a four point advantage. Five point advantage in the open game, which they went on to convert. As you can see, 21 15. Uh, not convinced about the flick serving to Nathan Robertson because he loves to be hitting down. I guess it's a good tactic to mix up the serves because he's also very, very good at pouncing on the, the low serve. Port one twenty second. Port one twenty second. Well, as I say, it's time for the Thailand pair, all number twos, to get themselves really back on normal terms. Because unless they are not soon, it's going to be too late. Play. Seven. Oh, four errors on the return of serve in your game. Thirteen seven down. Fourteen oh, no. seven. More attacking play from the English combination. Four years of age, this man. Come on! Come on. Come on. Uh, that was good defence from Jenny Moore. Had to change from her forehand defence to play it on the backhand side. Made to twist and turn, but she reacted so well. Eight point advantage now. Seven. I think this is probably some of the best badminton we've ever seen them play together. Robertson and Woolworth, totally on command of the match. goes he's gone from new racket back in action that's just extraordinary oh it's landed in oh my goodness 17 7. the sideways drift brought the shuttle back into court
She could have played it. Well, that was extraordinary early on in that rally when Sikit Prakramol dashed off court, grabbed in the racket. Can't uh, left to uh, hold fort while he was gone. Eighteen, his partner. <laughs> Service over. Mm. Nine eighteen. <laughs> The Thailand pair haven't been able to do that enough in the match so far, where Sarani was commanding the net position. Service over. 19 10. Numbers of two seeds, just two points from crashing out at the quarter final stage. Lovely play from Robertson. Service over. 11 19. Sikip Prakramol leaping in the air, looking as if he was going to thunder down the smash, but checking the shot at the last moment to play the drop shot. Force the weak reply. So it was called good. 13-19. Double service line. Oh! Oh! Service over. Twenty in this match. Match point thirteen. That brings the advantage. And now seven match points for Nathan Robertson and Jenny Wall. Desperately short. 14 20. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. Game. And the number two seeds have been beaten by the English combination of Nathan Robertson and Jenny Woolworth. 21-15, 21-14. 33 minutes of play. Match one by Nathan Robertson, Jenny Woolworth. Lift have been short and immediately Jenny Woolworth having played 15, the smash. 21, 14, thank you. Crunches in on the nets and the sheer movement and threat of her moving forward. To her favoured net position. 
and forced opponents into error. So there is confirmation of the score, 21-15, 21-14. And Robertson and Warwick safely through to the semi-final. And we are yet to know who their semi-final opponents will be because Soju Sato and Jizuka Matsuo, the Japanese combination, are busy in the third game against Chen Hongling and Chen Wen Sing of Taipei. And the first semi-finalists decided here in the mixed doubles. And it's the English pair. Yeah, they're not too happy with that. Partners on court. Partners off court. So as they take leave of centres of court, just to remind you what we've got coming up next. Of course, it's men's singles and the men's singles quarter final, two of the future of World Badminton because it's a former World Junior Champion, Wang Shengming, up against the current World Junior Champion, Victor Axelsen. So men's singles coming up in just a moment, but mixed doubles, well, it produced one or two thrilling moments, especially if you're an English fan. If you're a Taiwan fan, you'll be a little bit disappointed by the performance of the number two seed, Sukhik Prakamol and Sarali from Tonkan. the crowd here at the Singapore Indoor Stadium being treated to some magnificent badminton as you can see three courts in action earlier in the tournament we had four courts in action but now we're down to the final stage down to three courts and tomorrow for semi-finals there'll just be two courts available finals of course will be down to one court one of each discipline of course in badminton 